So this is how it's gonna be. You come over, get some good takeout, better sex. We have a disagreement, correction, a civil discussion that doesn't go your way, and then you walk out. I can't help but feel used. This isn't funny. Who's laughing? You say you love me. I but, do love you. But you have no faith in me. You <sighs> refuse to believe that I know what I want or that I can learn from my mistakes. <laughs> right, fine, put it all on me. You are just this open, honest, uncomplicated guy who's just ready for me to move in. Yeah, pretty much. Right, never mind the fact that we work together all day long. You want us to spend all of our time together. You want us to share the same apartment, the same bed, the same kitchen. I, I really don't understand why. Is, is it because I'm so chipper and sunshiny that you just want to spend all your time because with me? I'm, I don't I'm think so. I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to evolve this. Why does that scare you so much? Look me in the eye and tell me that I don't drive you crazy. Of course you drive me crazy. What? Look, all I want is for you to be honest. I've honestly been asking you to move in for months, since before the Metro Court disaster. Because you feel guilty. Why would I feel guilty? Because of a stupid trip to Vegas with a buddy of mine? I'm over it, and you should be too. I lived here barely 24 hours before you took the next plane to Vegas, and then suddenly I'm shot at the Metro Court, so obviously you feel like you have to make it up to me by asking me to move in with Th you. There's no connection there, and... Why are we talking about Vegas again? That was a long time ago. Not in non-crisis time, it's not. What is that, like daylight savings time? Look, we're, we're great in a crisis. I, I'm bleeding on the floor of the Metro Court lobby. You're exposed to HIV. Crisis time, we're golden. Non-crisis time, take out, great sex, don't have to be anywhere till 10 o'clock the next morning. We're awful at it, we fight constantly. You know this is just an excuse for you to walk out. No, it's reality. You've survived some very, very tough experiences. I mean, I, I almost died. But for some reason, you feel obligated to ask me to move in, which is a very big step that you are not ready to okay, take. Okay, you know what? Stop right there. That, that drives me crazy. You're not refusing to move in with me because you don't want to. You're refusing to move in with me because you think you know what I want better than I do. It's, it's conniving and contradictory. And obviously, you do want to live with me or it wouldn't be such a big deal. Stop analyzing me for like one okay, second. Robin, we are making this way more complicated than it needs to be. We love each other, so we should be together. It, it would be so much. Okay, just because we want to be together doesn't mean that we shouldn't have boundaries. And please don't say that I'm being obsessive or controlling, because that's not what this is about. Sometimes boundaries are a good thing, you know, like, like good fences make good neighbors. We're not neighbors. It's not the point. No, sorry. See, if, if everyone is, is clear at the very beginning, then no one will get their feelings hurt, because it will, it will, it will just be clear. You realize that most of our fights start with you making everything perfectly clear. Oh, great. So now we're back to everything's my fault. You just said that we're great in crisis time. It's the non-crisis, the small stuff that we suck at. Small stuff? How is living together small stuff? How is dealing with each other on a day-to-day -day basis small? I mean, that's huge. That's building a life together. That's, that is being together. Then why are you pushing it away? Why do you have to clarify and categorize and try and control everything that scares you? Because that's just how I think. I'm a research physician. We're not in the lab. And you are trying everything to alienate me, but it's not gonna work. Because you want to live with me. Oh. Here, in this apartment. Day to day, crisis time, non-crisis time. We love each other and you know it. And we're both ready. And underneath everything, under all the junk that we're dragging into this, we want to be together. So, I will wait for you. Because you're worth it.
forgot to tell you something. If it involves the words boundaries or relationship, please reconsider. And I wanted to tell you that you make me really happy. Truly, deeply happy. Happier than I've been in a really long time. And for that, I thank you. You know that happiness thing? both ways. Do you think maybe we could go to my bed? Or do we have to stay on the couch so you can pretend you don't live here? <laughs> no, that sounds good. But I might have to leave in the morning. I said go to take care.